Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 4080. Does the gentleman seek to call up the bill as amended? Yes, Mr. Speaker. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 4080, a bill to amend Title 12 of the Public Health Service Act to reauthorize certain trauma care programs and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Pitts, and the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Pennsylvania. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent <clears throat> that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and insert extraneous materials into the record on the bill. Without, without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to support and in support of H.R. 4080, the Trauma Systems and Regionalization of Emergency Care Act, introduced by Representative Michael Burgess. This bill amends the Public Health Service Act by reauthorizing two important grant programs, the Trauma Care System Planning Grants and the Regionalization of Emergency Care Systems. The first program supports state and rural development of trauma systems, and the second funds pilot projects to design, implement, and evaluate innovative models of regionalized emergency care. We know that immediate access to trauma care within the golden hour after injury is critical. By improving access to the specialized care designed to treat trauma injuries, both of these trauma bills will save lives. I urge my colleagues to support this important legislation and reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves, gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. I rise in support of H.R. 4080, the Trauma Systems and Re uh, Regionalization of the Emergency Care Reauthorization Act. I'm proud to be the lead Democratic sponsor in this important bill and with my colleague, uh, from Texas colleague, Dr. Burgess. I want to thank him for his leadership and commitment to this issue. This bill reauthorizes the programs that provide dr grants to states for planning and implementing and developing trauma care systems and establishes pilot projects that design innovative models of emergency care systems. Ideally, trauma and emergency care systems respond quickly and efficiently to ensure that the seriously injured individuals receive the care they need within the golden hour the time period which medical intervention is most effective in saving lives. However, unintentional injury remains a leading cause of death for Americans ages 44 years and younger, and access to trauma centers is inconsistent throughout the country. In fact, 40, 45 million Americans lacked access to a trauma care center within that golden hour, the first hour after the injury. Emergency departments and trauma centers are overcrowded, the emergency care system is splintered, and surgical specialists are often unavailable to patients who need them. This legislation helps establish the systems that save lives and improve the functioning of our trauma care systems. Again, I want to thank uh, Representative Burgess for championing his effort with me. I also want to acknowledge your leadership of Chairman Upton, Chairman Pitts, Ranking Member Waxman, Ranking Member Pallone, and the work as a committee staff in advance of this bill, to advancing this bill through the Energy and Commerce Committee and bring it to the floor today. I support this bipartisan bill, and I urge my colleagues to do the same, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from Texas reserves. Gentleman from Pennsylvania. Mr. Speaker, I yield three minutes to the distinguished vice chairman of the Health Subcommittee, Dr. Burgess, who's been a real champion and is the prime sponsor of this bill. Gentleman's recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Trauma is the leading cause of death for people under the age of 65. It's expensive. It costs over $400 billion a year, only behind heart disease and cancer. It affects individuals of all ages 35 million times each year. That's one person every 15 minutes. H.R. 4080 reauthorizes two existing bipartisan grant programs that support the regionalization of emergency care and trauma systems across the country. Trauma systems deliver a full range of care to injured patients. Most members of the House have trauma systems either in their district or that are able to serve their constituents. This bill is supported by the American Association of Neurologic Surgeons and the American Association of Orthopedic Surgeons, the American Burn Association, 
the American College of Emergency Physicians, the American College of Surgeons, the Emergency Nurse Association, the America Trauma Association, the Congress of Neurological Surgeons, and the Trauma, Trauma Center Association of America. A study released in April found that patients living near a recently closed trauma facility were 21% more likely to die from their injuries. Two years after closure, the likelihood of death, death has increased to 29%, emphasizing the importance of these grants. The legislation passed out of the Energy and Commerce Committee on, Subcommittee on Health by a voice vote and passed the full committee on April 3rd unanimously. This legislation is broadly supported by medicine. It is bipartisan. It has gone through regular order. I want to thank Chairman Upton and Chairman Pitts, as well as the ranking member, Mr. Waxman and Mr. Pallone, and the Energy and Commerce staff on both sides of the dais, Clay Alsbach, Robert Horn, Brenda Nestro, Katie Novaria, as well as Ann, Norris, Ann Morris Reed. Mr. Green and I have worked on this issue for years, and I appreciate his continued partnership on the bill, and I want to thank his staff, Christian O'Neill. Finally, I want to thank Adriana Simonelli and J.P. Poliskevitz, who shepherded the bill through the, from my office, who shepherded the bill through the process. I urge all members to vote in favor of this legislation. It is important for all of our districts. I yield back my time. The gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Pennsylvania Reserves. The gentleman from Texas. I reserve the balance of time. We have no other speakers. The gentleman. Speaker, at this time I yield two minutes to my colleague from Pennsylvania, Mr. Dent. Gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for two minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, too, rise today in strong support of H.R. 4080, the Proposed Trauma Systems uh, and Regionalization of Emergency Care Reauthorization Act. Uh, I, I'd especially like to thank uh, Dr. Dr. Burgess of Texas and Mr. Green of, and Representative Green of Texas uh, for introducing this uh, very important critical piece of legislation. As has been mentioned, it's the leading cause of death uh, for people under the age of 45, trauma. Uh, it's unfortunately something that the majority of states are not adequately uh, prepared, prepared to handle. According to CDC, trauma kills more Americans than AIDS and strokes combined. Uh, the nation needs a, a robust network to respond quickly and efficiently to get seriously uh, injured individuals to the appropriate trauma center uh, within that golden hour that has been much discussed, which is the uh, time period when uh, medical intervention is most effective in saving lives and saving function. H.R. Uh, 4080 uh, if enacted, will allow the development of innovative state and regionalized care, uh, which is necessary to prevent these uh, trauma deaths. Uh, the bill would also direct states to update uh, their model trauma care plan uh, with the input of stakeholders. Uh, when the difference uh, between life and death rests on the ability to deliver uh, coordinated trauma care within the golden hour, we need legislation in place, uh, such as H.R. 4080, to improve delivery of emergency medical care to severely injured patients. While we're at it, at some point we should deal uh, with the issue of uh, liability reform uh, for trauma centers uh, because we need on-call specialists to deliver that care when we most need it, but that's a fight for another day. But today, let's get H.R. 4080 done. I urge my colleagues to support this important uh, legislation introduced by Dr. Burgess and uh, Mr. Green. I yield back my time. Thank you. Gentleman from Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania yields back. Gentleman from uh, Texas. I, I reserve. Gentleman from the Speaker, I reserve. Uh, we again have whenever you're in. Prepared to close. Okay. Uh, Gentlemen, Mr. Speaker, I'd be glad to close. Obviously, as a co-sponsored bill, working with my colleague, Dr. Burgess, for a number of years on trauma care, I urge an I vote and yield back my time. Gentleman from Texas yields back. Gentleman from Pennsylvania. Again, Mr. Speaker, H.R. 4080 is another very important and bipartisan bill, and I urge all the members to support it and yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Pennsylvania yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 4080? Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative. The rules are suspended. The bill is passed. The bill is passed. The bill is amended as passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.